Welcome trainers! Today, we're going to be taking a look at the recent in-game announcements pertaining to a two-week Hoenn event as well as a Phoebus research task event coming up this weekend. Now in past announcement videos, I've read the announcement as it appears in-game, but in the interest of keeping this video brief and to the point, I'll just be hitting on the main points presented in these two announcements. As always, links for all references used in this video will be found in the description. For the Hoenn event, it will be running from January 15th, 1pm Pacific Time until January 29th at 1pm. During this event, we will be seeing increased spawns of Pokemon from the Hoenn region, increased Hoenn Pokemon field research tasks, and increased Hoenn egg hatches in 7k eggs, which will be fantastic for stacking up on candies for a variety of meta-relevant Pokemon. With the starter Pokemon, we can go ahead and hunt for high IVs, since they'll undoubtedly be receiving a community day in the future. We can also use this as a great opportunity to stack up on candies for the pseudo-legendary Pokemon Salamence and Metagross, especially with anticipation of there being a bag on Community Day sometime this year. Additionally, we can use this opportunity to beef up our PvP teams with Pokemon such as Metatite spawning more frequently. Next up during this event is the highly requested return of the legendary Pokemon Kyogre and Groudon in raid battles. Keeping the counters simple, Here's a beautiful chart which shows their respective counters. As you can see, you'll want to use electric types against Kyogre and water types against Groudon, with grass types having situational usage against the both of them. Both Kyogre and Groudon have various uses in the game, and with shiny variants available, you'll definitely want to go out and do some raids. During this event, you can also evolve a Shroomish in order to obtain a Breloom with the grass type charge move Grass Knot. Now there's been a lot of chat in the PvP subreddit about this move, but the general consensus is that it is in fact a better move than Seed Bomb on Breloom during neutral matchups. Now, when it comes to the Boulder Cup, you'll actually want to go ahead and just use your Seed Bomb Breloom. Within the Boulder Cup, Breloom is mainly used as a counter to Whiskash and Marsh Tomp. Through simulating matchups, the community has found that Seed Bomb is able to be used faster in order to achieve the same outcome of winning the matchup while also taking less damage and winning just a little bit faster. You'll definitely want to evolve some Grass Knot Breloom during this event, but just know that they are not ideal for the Boulder Cup tournament. Next up, we have a chance of encountering Shiny Zigzagoon and Shiny Tailo. While these Pokemon don't necessarily have usage in the meta, this will be great for you shiny hunters out there. Last but not least, we have the introduction of Team Magma and Team Aqua Avatar clothing items in the shop. While I'm not one for spending much gold on new outfits, these two villainous outfits are fan favorites for many and I know lots of people are going to be really excited about this. In the middle of this event, we will have an exclusive Phoebus research task event this Saturday, January 19th from 11am Pacific Time until 2pm. During this event, we will be receiving limited research tasks from Pokestops that reward us with a Phoebus encounter, along with the chance of encountering a shiny Phoebus. Phoebus's evolution, Melodic, is actually pretty decent as a gym defender, and we all know how fun it is defending a gym with a shiny Pokemon. My personal recommendation is to play this event in a very Pokestop dense area so that you can maximize how many research tasks you complete. It's also worth noting that you can in fact hold on to limited research tasks during this window and complete them at a later time, so make sure you're keeping your research task area completely filled until the event is fully over. I'm personally very excited for this event, it's different than most events we've had so far and it'll hopefully pave the way for similar events to introduce new shiny Pokemon. With those announcements out of the way, I'd love to hear what you guys are most excited about in the comments down below. I know I'll definitely be hitting those legendary raids hard for the next two weeks while also taking advantage of those Metatite spawns in the wild. I also wanted to take a moment to give a huge thank you to all of those who have been supporting my channel and checking out my videos. Creating content on YouTube as a hobby has been an interest of mine for a very long time, and with the channel passing 1,000 subscribers this past weekend, I am so thankful that my content has been well received. You guys truly motivate me to learn more as a Pokemon Go player and as a YouTube content creator, and I absolutely cannot wait to continue learning and growing in 2019. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.